Hey everyone, welcome back to Pavli. And this video is all about optimizing and streamlining your process of resolving the queries and issues raised by your customers or clients with the help of automation. And to set up this automation, we are going to connect HubSpot CRM application with ClickUp, which is a project or task management tool. So now let me show you how this is going to work. So the flow of this automation is going to look like this. Here we are using HubSpot application as a customer support or help desk application. And here your team is working to support your customers. So as and when on the behalf of any customer, your team is going to raise a ticket here. A task will be created and assigned to any person working on ClickUp, which is a management task management tool. Okay. So as and when a ticket is raised here, a task will be created according to the ticket automatically in ClickUp. So here you need not to see who is raising the ticket and what are the details of the ticket and uh, going manually here in ClickUp application and create a task manually here. Okay, so it will reduce your manual efforts. It will reduce your time consumed in this process and you can uh, work more productively and efficiently. And to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And guys, the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. And for this, you can check the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Okay, so after setting up your account, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect here like this. And as you sign up for a free Pavli Connect account, you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay. And here in this dashboard, you have to start working by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So here I have given the name to this workflow as add tickets raised in HubSpot as new tasks in ClickUp. Okay, now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. And on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation is going to work on these two things. So the trigger is the happening of any event that is going to trigger this workflow. And the action is the response to that trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be a new ticket raised in HubSpot and the action to that trigger would be to create a new task according to the ticket in ClickUp. Okay. So first of all, you have to set up this trigger here. So from this choose app field, choose your trigger application first. So that is HubSpot in our case. So select HubSpot CRM. Okay. Then in the trigger event, you have to select, uh, you have to select new ticket option. Let me show you where is the option. Here it is new ticket. So it will trigger this workflow when a new ticket is available. Select it, then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here you have to enter the API key to make the connection with HubSpot. Okay, so here you can follow these instructions. To get this key, you have to go to the settings icon in the main navigation bar in HubSpot. And on the left hand sidebar menu, you will find the integrations option and then you will find the API key. So if a key has never been generated, you can generate a key or if it is already generated, you can use the same key there. So let me show you how you can uh, follow these instructions. So guys, this is my HubSpot CRM's dashboard. And here you can see I have this settings icon. I'm going to click on settings here. Okay. Now in this left hand side panel, when you scroll down, you will find this integrations option here like this. And here you'll find this API key tab, click on API key. Okay. And on this page, you will find this API key right here. You can see this is the key. Okay. So you can uh, generate a key if you, if you don't find this key, you can generate it. Or if you have already generated it, you just have to copy it. So click on this show button and confirm, right? Then you have to copy this key and you have to paste this key here like this and then click on save and you'll be connected with HubSpot like this. Okay. And now when you click here on save and send test request, 
the details of a most recent ticket raised in HubSpot will be fetched here. Okay, so let me show you the tickets. So this is the uh, dashboard of HubSpot and you can see we have only one ticket showing up here. The name of the ticket is workflow issue and this is the pipeline stage and this is the ticket status and this is the created date and time and these are the priorities and this is the ticket owner. This is the source of the ticket and the, we have all these things. Okay, so this is the only ticket I have right now. So I'm going to click here on save and send test request and let's see and you can see the data is here offered of that ticket that I have just shown you and you can see the properties content is workflow not working. This was the title here. Let me show you. Okay, and here you can see in the workflow issue ticket, the description is workflow not working. Okay, so this is the details we got here. This is the creation date of this ticket. And we have all the other details also. This is the priority and okay this is the source this is the subject and that's how you can you can fetch the details of a ticket from hubspot to here in public connect now with the help of this data that we have just received we are going to create a task in clickup application okay so for that to happen you have to connect your clickup application in this action window so from this choose app field you have to search for clickup now so here is clickup okay and in the action events you have to uh, you have to select create a task option okay then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and here it is asking for the api token of clickup to make the connection with clickup so here you can read the instructions so you have to go to reach your profile icon on the bottom left corner and then you have to go to apps to find the api token so let me show you so this is my clickup application Okay, so here you'll find this profile icon on the bottom left corner. Let's see. Okay, so we have this uh, profile icon here, the Ashi's workspace profile. And here you have to click on apps, this apps button. Okay, and here is the API token you can see. So just copy this token and paste this token here in this field like this. Okay, then click on save and you'll be connected with ClickUp. Okay. Now here you have to select these things. So first of all, uh, this is the workspace name will going to be automatically selected. And then you have to select the name of the space, the folder name, the list name and and all these things. So let me show you. Uh, this is my spaces. These are my spaces. Okay. And the space I'm using is Pavli space, this one. And here I have this click click up integration folder. And here I have this HubSpot list. So here I want to create a task and I, my team is going to work on that task. Okay. So first of all, select the space. So space is Pavli. Okay. And the folder's name is ClickUp Integrations. This is ClickUp Integration. Select it. And you can see the uh, list name get automatically fetched here because we have, okay, sorry. So we have two lists here. So I'm going to select this HubSpot list. Okay. Now it is asking for the task name, the description. Uh, to create a task. So I'm going to use the data that we have received in the first step from uh, HubSpot application to fill these things. Okay. So what is the first thing? Uh, the first thing is the title. So here, oh, sorry, task name. So here in this task name, I'm going to map the task name as this as the title of this workflow, this property subject. Okay. So I'm going to use this label here in the second step to map this data. So to map this data, you just have to click here and you will find this HubSpot step here in the drop down. And from here, when you click, you will find all the details that you have received in the first step. And from here only, I'm going to find the label, uh, which was subject label. And this is the subject label. I'm going to map it. <coughs> okay. And in the description, I'm going to map the description from the same place from the HubSpot step. This is the content or the description. You can use it as description. Okay and select assign emails or map the assign ID. So you can assign this task to any member that you have in your team. So I'm assigning this task to Mr. Aaron Manuel. Okay. And you can put a tag here uh, in double quotes to identify which kind of issue here is. So, uh, or if you do not want to uh, attach a tag, you can leave this blank also as it is not a compulsory thing. And you can select the priority as well as a high, low, medium, normal. Okay. 
so I am making it normal priority and the due date so you can give the due date also to this task so in uh, at uh, you can due date is the last date or the end date of this task so if you want to assign a specific date on which uh, uh, you want to end this task you want to uh, uh, complete this task in a limited period of time you, you can add a due date here okay and you can give the start date as well okay and for that to happen you have to uh, map the timestamp okay so let me show you uh, if we receive this data so you can see we got the details of the created add date and time of the ticket in Hub, from HubSpot okay so I'm going to convert this date and time into a timestamp and we are going to map this created at date here in the second step. So first of all, you have to convert this into timestamp. For that, you have to click here on this plus icon. And I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is called date time formatter. Search for date time formatter here. Okay. And here you have to select format date with a time zone. Okay. Then click on connect. All right, and here it is asking for the date that you want to convert into timestamp. So here, when you click, you will find this HubSpot step. And from here, I'm going to map this create date property label, okay? Right, and now I'm going to select this format. So this format is same. You can see YYMMDD and a T in between and the hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is the format. And now I want to convert this into timestamp in milliseconds okay and the time zones so the time zone is indian time zone so you can find out here asia kolkata time zone select it and i want to uh, keep it as it is so i am selecting asia kolkata again now click here and save and send test request and you will get a timestamp here in milliseconds like this in this result label okay so you can map this result label here guys in this third step here in this uh, due start date okay so in the start date field, okay. So it is not showing up the previous step here. Let me make the connection again. So I'm clicking on connected. I'm selecting existing connection and I'm clicking on save again. Okay, and then let, now let's, let me check. So now you, when you click here on this uh, start date, you will get this second step also. And from the second step, just map this result table like this okay right and the status you can uh, ma make the status as to do yeah to do so we are going to do this task so make the status as to do now we have mapped the details and let's check our connection with uh, ClickUp is working properly or not uh, let me delete this previously created ticket on the same name i'm going to remove delete this and here you can see we have no task right now in this HubSpot list. So let's check our connection. I'm clicking here on save and send test request and a new task will be created according to the details we have mapped in ClickUp application. Okay, now let's check. And you can see a new task is created here named as workflow issue and is assigned to Mr. Aaron Manuel. Okay, and we can find the details here workflow not working. Okay. So connection is working fine with ClickUp application and guys, we are done setting up this automation. So now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, I connected HubSpot CRM application in the trigger, you can see, right? And fetched out the details of a most recently raised ticket in HubSpot. After that, I'd applied date time formatter to convert this create time and date label we got from the first step into a timestamp. And after that, in the action step, I connected ClickUp task to create a task there. And we have selected required things, the list and the folder names, and we mapped the data to create a task in ClickUp. And we, when you map the data like this, what will happen in real time, whenever, you, whenever your team is going to raise a new ticket in HubSpot, this data is going to change accordingly, and a new task will be created in Hub, HubSpot. And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I've just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. 
and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel